like hanging out with Axel? Axel, Axel, I mean, he's very cool. I mean, he, he's a, he's a legend, and I believe in his band. I believe in him. Mm -hmm. And, um, I don't know, they have a residency in Vegas right now. Oh, no. I was so mad. I wanted to go see it so bad. I yeah. can help you if you want to go. Oh, there. really? Oh, oh, my gosh. You're too nice. <laughs> that would be so cool. I've just, I've never seen it. Yeah, the show is amazing. Fun. The show is amazing. People say it's the best Guns N' Roses show they've ever seen. Wow. Yeah, and the stage is beautiful. Do you, yeah. do you have a hookup on Barry Manilow, too? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, damn, I want to see Barry Manilow. But you'd be surprised. <laughs> I've got some, I've got, I can help you out with a couple of things. Donnie Marie. Yeah, yeah, Donnie Marie. Marie. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, my God. So, hey, um... My mom actually uh, is metaphysical. Ah. We found out some stuff that you used to study metaphysics. Cool. Yeah. So and I had to ask her what is. Yeah. That? So do you want to go into it a little bit at all? Well, it depends on what branch of metaphysics you're studying, and sort of. I mean, the term metaphysics has been the meaning of it means something different now than obviously what Aristotle meant when he wrote his first books on metaphysics mm. and invented that term. Um. I mean, now it kind of suggests more of like a new age, um, a new age way of life, which right. actually I'm also interested in those new age books, mm -hmm. which more have to do with visual, visual, visualizing the future you'd like to manifest into reality. And that kind of has more of a metaphysical, you would call that like a metaphysical book. But or, originally, um, it was philosophers trying to trace back the study, uh, the origin of the soul and, mm -hmm. and how the origin of reality came to be. Mm -hmm. Like, so how did we end up here in the studio today? You know, it, it concerns the Big Bang Theory or, you know, whether or not this reality is really, really happening in real time. And, you know, it's just that there's so many different branches, but it's a science of questions, no answers. Yeah. Um, but I think people who get into metaphysics go to universities to study it, to like sit in groups together and talk about why we're here. And it actually, it ends up, it starts with like, an, an, you know, talking about ancient philosophy, but it kind of leads to more conversations about how do we become more innovative with technology so we can find out what happened at the beginning by getting closer to the end, to space, really. Yeah. Space, space travel now, getting closer to, to seeing what's, well, what's I brought, out there. Well, I brought it up on the radio and people went crazy when really? I said, I said, uh, that I go, yeah, you're walking down the street, but do you realize that <laughs> the planet is in the middle of space right now? Yeah, it's and wild. it blew people's minds. <laughs> well, it's wild. I yeah, I mean, I'm like, you may be driving down the freeway, but the freeway is in the middle of space right now. Well, it's just such an interesting thing to think about. I mean, God, I'm obviously not the first person to present this question, but if we just, if we, if we all collectively started to think about what else was out there and pooled all of our imagination, which is the most important thing, and then resources and knowledge and money and intelligence towards um, what, what's out there even further. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, they they said now that our planet is full of diamonds, there, <laughs> I, I read about a cloud that's all alcohol. That's like humongous. Like, wow. You can just go on forever. Yeah. With all this stuff. Richard Branson has been very helpful in yeah. our advances with space travel, and he's going to continue to kind of, I think, push us all forward with making it really easy to... Yeah, what's his, what's his name that did um, Avatar? And, oh, uh, James Cameron. James Cameron. Mm -hmm. Now he wants to, like, mine... Uh, he wants to mine comets or... I don't know. Really? I'm, I'm way out of my element right now. I'm trying to act <laughs> like I'm smart, but I'm not. I like this talk. Yeah, no, it's, it reminds me of home. No, it's really good, though, because yeah. it's, like, it's in talking about it mm -hmm. where, where it all begins, and that's something, you know... That, like I was talking earlier about the spirit of the 60s and the, and the early 70s, kind of before Vietnam. I mean, the, everyone was, you know, so conversational and, mm -hmm. and everyone was throwing out all these ideas. And it's why technology jumped the way that it did. It's because we all, yeah, started talking. You said something last time you were here that I really loved about the Internet and how it's, a, you know, just a source of communication where people can learn. Yeah. Yeah, that really stuck with me. Yeah, I remember that. We were talking about how it actually ma it makes us one, it does make us one smaller world, re a really in interconnected world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I like was, that. <laughs> I was talking earlier today about how Steve Wozniak was actually at my last um, San oh, yeah. Francisco show. He's on the side of the stage. And he's so fun. And he's so fun, and he loves music. Mm -hmm. And he, <laughs> you know, that's, and that, that's the kind of person who started off with a big imagination. Yeah, I mean, and obviously he's, He's a genius, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Me not so much. Uh, you're pretty smart. smart. <laughs> no, no. You're pretty smart. You're pretty smart. I'm not even. I don't even know why I'm here. Smart. <laughs> but uh, do you have a, a five-year plan? Do you do you see five years in the future? What I you want to do, or I do, you do. things that you might want to expand on? Yeah, I actually.
actually have no plans for expansion, and I don't really have any ambitions musically. Like, I, I really like what I did, and I like sort of when I haven't. I, it's very rare these days that I have that my muse comes to me and I feel like I have to do something. It's only, there's only a couple things I feel like are really good ideas. I don't really do that much unless I think it's going to be amazing. But, I don't know, I love my boyfriend. I love making music with him. I hope that we, I hope that we continue to sing together. And my, my brother and sister live with me. I hope that they, you know, continue to figure out what their passion is. And, you know, and I mean, other than that, I really just, I, there's nothing I really want. I kind of, uh, I make music well, I'd like to keep on scoring for some, for some of the directors I know. And other than that, really, I'd like to actually keep on researching what we were talking about earlier mm. about, you know, what's gonna, what, our, what our future collectively is going to look like and see how to prepare for that, sort of. I, I think about it a lot. Yeah, I, I do know. too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think, like, doing this type stuff. Like, I read I can tell that about you. <laughs> you know? No. No, I saw this movie, Is Seeking a Friend for the End of the World. No, yeah, well, that sounds like a scary movie. It scared the hell out of me. <laughs> now, now, now I want to buy, like, satellite phones. And, yeah, and, like, this is what he talks about on the air. Like, like, Megan, you're going to be sorry when oh. you don't have your gas mask. It's like, <laughs> like, okay, man. You can buy a nice gas mask for, like, 150 bucks yeah. online. And he's like, I'm telling you, Megan, is that going to help us? I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. If it's going like, down. Hey, if, if, if it's going hey, down, it's going down. If it's going down, she's going to ask me what the gas mask is. What? <laughs> yes. Oh, no. Yeah, but but what good is that going to be if you're all alone in your house with one mask? Yeah. You better start saving right. and get a couple more. I know. Get a couple masks. <laughs> I have like 28 gallons of water. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> so you're Let's be real. Yeah. Cool. Is, there, um, is there anything you want to share like uh, people should check out? Or no. I mean, you know, yeah. like I, I, I'm with this, with the, I'm with the, with the, par the Paradise Edition. It's just going to roll out really easily. It's more, it's more of an afterthought of the original record. I mean, it's eight new songs, but... I mean, for me, they're, they're even more me than the last record. They're just really natural and, and raw. Everything was done in one take, and it just feels very cool. So I'm happy to have them out. I'm happy to start working on little videos for them. And what I like it. about Lana Del Rey, she's not a pimper. She doesn't say, oh, I got a shoe line coming out. <laughs> I got my makeup. Yeah, that's I got, they never said, oh, you can't say that, or you, know, you can't make a video that, like, glorifies prostitution or whatever. Mm -hmm. No, they, let, they just let me, do, they let me do anything, and so in that way, I don't feel forced to, like, extend myself in all these unnatural ways. Not that, you know, having shoe lines unnatural. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. well, thank you for stopping by and hanging yeah, out with us. Yeah, this has been really cool. Thank you. you good, come really by, good questions. Come by more often. Yeah. I have to say, we've, we've, had, we've, it's been good in San Francisco. Oh, it's yeah. been good, and it was good last time with that, with the Amoeba show. Mm hmm I really hope we... You have a lot of people that yeah, love you. Yeah, I actually feel a lot of, a lot of support. The people who, have, who came down to the show were amazing. Hopefully next year we'll come for a real show. Yeah, cool. please yeah. do. You gotta, yeah. you gotta play the Thanks. Fillmore or the Fox. I'd love that. Yeah, yeah. Just, don't be afraid. San Francisco is a really nice place. Not scary. There's a lot of people that love you here. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. We'll get you a nice studio apartment. Yes. Yeah. Really? We will yeah. move, we'll move you in. It'll only be like $1,600. <laughs> what? <laughs> She's all, wait, Are you uh, <laughs> don't you have to save money for your gas amount? <laughs> I know, right? I do. I'll give you the website later when you buy it. Okay, cool. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Bye.